Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack. I'm coming to you from Vega Conflict. Hey, I wanted to show what my current base layout is. As you can see, some things are being repaired because during the latest Civil War event, my base was hit by a rather high-level player. And uh, I just wanted to uh, well, first show that video. So let me find it. I believe this is it, so let's watch the video. And I'll give a little commentary. We can see that uh, he's in a rather high level battle. Uh, I think it's a destroyer. A Xeno destroyer, I believe. Not exactly sure. And he's using pretty powerful weapons. He starts out with 15% damage. And he comes on strong. Seems to do a lot of damage, but... If he gets any closer than that, he's going to run into a turret on my base right here. You can see the outline of it. If you got any closer, he had to come under fire. And then there are two sets of squadrons. One in my fleet bay right here, and the other one in my base. Now you're going to watch, he's got four minutes on the clock. I'm going to speed the clock up a little bit. Let's see how long he takes to deal with squadrons that are on my fleet bay. Now he's smart enough not just to rush right in, but now he's going to have to start dealing with squadrons. Now he's killing them, but he's only got one ship. And what he can't do with one ship is do a lot of damage and protect against squadrons at the same time. So he's eating a lot of time on the clock. So now we're at 2 minutes and 50 seconds out of a 5 minute clock. And he really can't get any closer or take his focus off from those squadrons because they'll damage his ship. And he's already taken some damage on his ship and he's only got 15% hull left. So he's having to play a long game here. And you can see he's being very careful. If he were to rush in, he'd be facing two sets of squadrons, rather than just one. And now he's down to 14%. He started out with 15%, so he's lost 1% of his hull. And so he's being very careful. And this is a high-level player. He's a level 65 player in a level 60 fleet. So now he's moved a little bit and he's come under more fire and there's more squadrons that he can't that he's not killing. So he's taking more damage. And you can see he's taking damage, 11%. And the clock is running out, 17 seconds left. Five seconds. He did not kill my bridge. He only got one star clock ran out. So my base layout is not terrible. He wasn't able to rush in. He only had one ship. He had to be careful of the squadrons coming out of the fleet bay because there are three of them. I can't show you the fleet bay right now because it's being repaired and I don't want to spend the coins because there's no reason. Anyway, we take a look at my base layout. I've got this from uh, Manny Gaming. If you want to check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out his channel. He's got good pointers. And you can see that uh, I've got good range on my bridge. I've got good range on my fleet bay. And then I've got a good mix of short range and long range turrets and all of these long range turrets that's a short range turret but all the long range turrets like this one I'm using iridium magnets 4 iridium arrays which will boost the speed of the projectiles even though I've only got a level 2, you know, storm turret 2, I, I need 
better turrets, but that's not bad. You see, the long range also have a blind spot, so I've got short range turrets right next to them. Anyway, just wanted to show a little action. That guy should have probably, in his mind, been able to rush in, just destroy a whole base, give me 24 hours of shield, as it was. I got 90 minutes. I've still got 20 minutes left. But he was uh, held back by two sets of uh, squadrons. Anyway, right, that was it. Just wanted to make a quick video. Copy smack. Please hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, check out Patreon, please support the channel, and uh, we'll catch you later. Fly safe.